Alrighty, so this is the Bamboozle website, and this video is going to be about how we navigate through the website and just going over some of the features that we see on this main page. So when you go to bamboozle.com, um, I've already signed in. I've, I got my account. I'm signed in. I'm going to look over here on the right hand side and this is where I can look at pricing, support, contact, um, you can contact them, you can suggest a feature, you could go to your profile and your settings and you could sign out. So for example, if I go here, I can see the prices for Bamboozle Plus, which gives me some um, options to play with more teams. I can add unlimited images, I can make folders, unlock um, some just different extra fun games. and um, have multiple choice options and do just some of the extras there. Or I can um, stick with my basic uh, free edition, which is more than enough. Here I can still create games. I can still add images. I'm just limited to the, to the number of them. I can still play games with up to four teams and um, I can have one folder. So um, that was the plus. Now, if you're lost and you're not sure how to get back to that main, you're just gonna click on the house. And this takes you back to the home page. When you're on the home page, you can scroll down and it gives you um, those benefits that we're going to talk about when we're together of just what kind of makes Bamboozle stand apart from other games. You can click this to play games. Here, um, it's got some examples of some featured ones. And then down here, there are links. If you click on this, this takes you to where you can make, play, search, or teach. There's another um, button here where you can click to make games and I'm just going to scroll back up to the top and show you that those things are here on the top as well. So over here in um, the toolbar we have blog. So this is something that they started about a month ago and so there's only a few things on here but um, it's been growing. So this is a great place to go if you're kind of like I don't really know where to get started. I need some ideas for some games. So for example, here's some um, for the holidays. Here's some icebreakers and ways that you can hook um, your class. Uh, there's some really great ones in here, some ideas and um, suggestions of how you can use them. And um, some of these would be perfect for, especially like at the beginning of the year when everybody's getting to know each other, or even like when we come back from the holidays and it kind of feels like, where you know we're starting over um, and starting new because they've forgotten everything and it's like who are you um you know those are those are great or maybe you get a new student something like those uh something like that would be great so when you click on these they have um just a little blog post and then there's games embedded in there and so you can just click on those and it'll take you to play those all right i'm going to x out of here and go back to the website so that was blog News is similar, um, but this also includes some of the new updates. So here's that blog post because that was just posted on the first. And then if I scroll down, um, I see here are some things that are coming soon. Um, so it was advertising whenever they were doing uh, the memory and the Connect 4. Um, here they were just kind of, you know, saying like, hey, here's our, here's our new games that we're coming out with. So news is there if you want to keep up with what the new stuff is. And um, Bamboozle, especially since last year, has just been growing tremendously. So it's getting more and more popular. More and more people are hearing about it and loving it, like I hope you do. And so I would um, I would definitely check into the, the news every once in a while just because they've got all kinds of um, new things coming out that you, you know, may want to stay on top of. The next one up here that I'm going to go over is called games. So when I click on when I click on the games, um, I have over 750,000 different games that are made by teachers. You can go and search for your games here, and we'll go over that deeper in another video. And then the last thing I want to show you is your library. So these are where, um, or this is where you're going to have all your games that you already have made. And this is just an easy way that you can go back and find them. And then again, when you're wanting to get back to that home screen, you just click the home and it takes you straight back. And so that's just kind of how you navigate the um, toolbar up here. I'll go um, deeper into the library and how we find games and play games in another video. 
but hopefully that helps you navigate um, with those different options at the top. Thank you.